If you clicked on this video, you are probably interested in the Roblox Obby game, Duke's Towers of Hell. You may also know that there are popular fan games, such as Another's Towers of Stupidity and Caleb's Soul Crunching Domain. However, these just scratch the surface of fan games. The surplus of fan games are lost, ignored, and simply unknown in the community. Fan games under 100,000 visits need some more appreciation. In this video, I will show you my personal favourite fan games that have less than 100,000 visits and more than 50,000 visits. The fifth best fan game on this list is Rami's Pillars of Hell. Just like all the games on this list, this one is great. It is fifth place because the game rarely gets any updates and suffers from varying quality between all of the pillars. The gameplay in the lower areas can be quite lackluster. This shouldn't take away from the 53 pillars it has between four areas. After area one, the quality drastically increases. The gameplay design and creativity of all the pillars are very high. In my opinion, the most important aspect of the game is the atmosphere. The areas develop a warming and inviting atmosphere that cannot be found anywhere else. The progression inside Rami's Pillars of Hell is really good, as it builds up the skills while having the reward of getting to better areas. There are a lot of pillars that stand out from the rest and are an absolute treat to play. I enjoyed playing this fan game, and you probably will too. Coming in at number 4 is Wonders Towers of War. Wonders Towers of War is a well developed fan game which holds 4 depths. The game is consistently getting updated with new towers and other stuff. The main reason for it not being any higher is because the starting depths are very classical. While this is not a bad thing, the gameplay in these towers can be quite unfair, arduous and constantly spiking difficulty. Apart from that, Wonders Towers of War excels in everything else. Once you get to depths 3 and 4, intricate lobbies are paired with great towers. The progression through the game is just as rewarding as Rami's Pillars of Hell. It's simple, the further you go, the better towers you encounter. There is nothing more to say about the fan game. It's just an enjoyable, high quality tower game with lots of content to go through. Confusing Cylinders gets the bronze medal. It deserves this medal because it uses one of the most unique frame types, a cylinder. And yes, they are the three-dimensional shapes you learnt in third grade. Cylinders are very unique in the way that there isn't much space inside, leading to larger outsides and very confined gameplay. There are six areas of gameplay in total, three realms and three territories. Apart from the one-of-a-kind frame type, the game retains the quality across all of the areas. While there are some slight improvements between areas, they remain fairly consistent. It is flawed from the gameplay not being great at points, some of the gameplay can be quite infuriating, and the quality of the cylinders, which also vary a lot from 2020 creations to like 2024 creations. The silver medal goes to Ake's Hellscape Steeples. Ake's Hellscape Steeples is the most unknown game on this list, ranking at 52,000 visits. Despite this, it is a lot, and I mean a lot, of content. There are 192 things spread between 8 areas or rings. These areas consist of 6 realms and 2 actual areas. Area-wise, this is the largest fan game on this list. 
However, unlike confusing cylinders, it does suffer from inconsistent quality between areas, stopping it from being number one on the list. Some of the steeples have inaccurate difficulties too. This does not take away from the various enjoyable steeples contained within its areas. The progression is rewarding, as progressing further will bring you to the areas of the highest quality. Most notable areas being Realm 5 and 6. The realms have a variety of frame types, going from boxes to citadels. I have been enjoying playing and progressing through Ake's Hellscape steeples, and you probably will too. Nox's Citadels of Hell, to no one's surprise, takes the gold medal. While Nox's Citadels of Hell does not have as many areas as the other games, the four areas it does have is some of the best in the J2H fan game community. The game uses Citadels as its main frame type. Every ring is composed of 11 to 13 Citadels that are high quality. The lobbies are large and contain a lot of interesting designs. Between the four rings that exist in the game, they get better and better. Each citadel is constructed very carefully to have great enjoyable gameplay, some very creative ideas, and most notably, the massive designs. Every single ring in the game feels like the quality is stepped up from the last. While it is more time consuming to go through the citadels, they are worth your time. The main floor of the game comes with the frame type. Citadels can be quite long and often demotivating to play. Sometimes, citadels have a final stretch, and failing the final stretch can be brutal. 